The first tornado forecast was issued here in Oklahoma City at Tinker Air Force Base. Fawbush and Miller laid the foundation with severe weather forecasting techniques that are still used today. This is where Ernest Fawbush and Captain Robert Miller, two destructive tornadoes and an experiment, changed forever the way tornadoes are forecast. Long before Doppler radar, satellites, and computers, there were hand-drawn maps and weather balloons, two simple devices used to diagnose a complicated atmosphere. The date was March 20th, 1948. A destructive tornado roared through Tinker Air Force Base, tossing bombers, injuring airmen, and causing millions of dollars in damages. The following days, tornado forecasting would never be the same. It was an experiment done by Colonel Miller and Fawbush that um, was experimenting with conditions they saw the week before that produced a tornado at Tinker Air Force Base. They saw the same conditions a week later and really went out on a limb to forecast another tornado there and it cost about six million dollars worth of damage. The courage and innovation of Fawbush and Miller did not go unnoticed. Soon their tornado forecast gained attention from the media and the public who pressured Congress to establish a government office for predicting weather. In 1952 the Weather Bureau was established and later renamed the Storm Prediction Center. Today, the Storm Prediction Center is ground zero for severe weather forecasting, with meteorologists providing round-the-clock severe weather surveillance with technology that continues to be faster and more accurate. Our radars are going to be able to look at the whole storm. Right now, we can only scan layers of the storm. Now we're going to get the whole picture every minute to see how the storm evolves and what really goes on in the storm. That's really another 10 to 15 years away.